Okay, so we're going to do some collagraph printing. Here's one a colleague of mine made earlier. This is obviously based on Picasso's work. And collagraph printing basically involves texture and the ink holding on to that texture. We're going to do it really simply using wallpaper courtesy of B&Q. So you can go and get that for free. You just go and take some samples. And we're going to use uh, a bit more of a photo realistic feel. So we've got a photo here that we're going to work from. This is A3. Underneath that we've got a hard board. And we're going to just simply draw the image on. We are going to cheat a little bit and we're using carbon paper to put our drawing on. So first off, our first step is to draw your design onto your board. So I'm just matching that up. Might bring it down a little bit. I'm just doing it by feel, yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna draw it on. Okay, so I've finished my drawing. It doesn't need to be really detailed. It's just enough for me to say, this is going to be my design. So I'm just gonna neaten it up and be sure about what my design's gonna look like. Okay, so now I've got my design drawn out nicely. I'm going to start putting the different textures onto the design because remember that we're going to create this collagraph board and the different textures are going to hold the ink when I roll that ink on giving me that final print like that yeah so the trick for this is because I'm using this carbon paper I can place my picture in the carbon paper onto my wallpaper and I can draw on, and I'm going to really give it some so it transfers across for me. There we go, that's more like it. And then we're cutting it out. So it might take a while to make your board, but once you've got it, it's going to make a really nice print and you can use it loads of times. I'm laying it on there. Slight bit of editing is needed. So I'm just gonna lay all my pieces on. As I go and build up those different textures. So there's my hair. I need a little bit for my forehead. So I'm going to look for a different piece that I need for the forehead. 
Um, so I just need some little strips in there, I think. I'm just going to use this texture here. Get some little strips. And this one I'm not going to draw out using the carbon, I'm just going to look. So I just need to get a few little lines of texture for his head. So I'm going to have those textures there. Then I'm going to do a bit of his profile. So again, using the carbon. Placing it on. I'm going to draw that whole profile down there. That I might not use it all, but at least I've got it if I need it. Have a bit down there for the gin. Definitely a bit of this dark area of the neck. I might use some of this for the lips, so I'm going to draw quite a bit on. So I've cut some of the pieces out that I need using the wallpaper, but also I've cut some little pieces just using card, and that's for the more intricate pieces. I've just got some normal card there that I've cut out little pieces. So again, I've drawn them up and then cut them out. Now what I'm going to do is start sticking this stuff down with PVA glue. So I've got a nice thin brush, a big fat brush. And then I'll coat most of it in PVA afterwards just to give it a little bit of uh, longevity. Obviously I don't want to affect the texture too much. So this piece that I've done for the chin, just put my PVA on the back of the board. And then start building up this portrait. So I'm going to get some of these pieces stuck down. I can neaten it up afterwards if I want. I can add extra textures on top. But just being aware when I take my roller and roll it across, I want whatever's up, whatever's sticking up, whatever's got a texture is going to grab that ink. So I need to be aware of that. And what you can always do is when you think you're done, when you think you're done, roll some ink over and see what it looks like. Because that example I keep showing you is actually just the plate, isn't it? Not the actual final print. The final print, obviously ours will look different, but the final print will look something like that. So I'm just going to show you this intricate piece that I've done for the R here. If you can see, are just tiny pieces of card that I've cut out. So there's a little eyeball that I cut out. Put my PVA on. Get my positioning right, the back end of the paper if I need to. Just push that down and that should hold the ink when I roll across. It's enough to hold that ink and on the top of the eye. It's getting a bit fiddly this. And that's why I think you need to make your board, either your design really simple or your board a bit bigger. So I'm working on an A3 board here. Just gives me a bit more scope for detail. Quite happy with that eye. Now here is the trick. I'm gonna now take a craft knife and you should really wait till this is dry. I might have to wait till this is dry. I'm just going to take a bit of that eye out to create a highlight, a different texture. Now, I can take that same technique, that same process, and if I like, I could cut out some of these sections to give me different textures. So I'm going to carry on putting this together now and I'll come back to you. Right, so I'm on the neck area now, so I've put on a, quite a lot of texture. 
I've got texture on his hair, I've got this texture underneath his eye. I've done that card trick and then neatened it up with this uh, sharp craft knife. Just be careful because when I've been cracking on with this, I've just cut myself, so you've got to be super careful. Now, I'm going to cut out a little section here. So I've cut a scored into the card with a craft knife. I'm actually going to remove sections of card. And obviously this will make a little texture underneath because I've just peeled away a bit of that top layer. But I want this shadow under his neck. That is on my picture here. I've got this shadow here. So I want to keep that. So I'm going to make sure that I keep a little section there sticking out. So I've cut out. Take the craft knife. Score the card. Making sure to leave up some lines because I don't want to get rid of all the lines because I know I won't have the shape of the face. And then I've just peeled away. Quite happy with that. And then I take the roller and I just roll across and just make sure, okay, that's going to pick up a bit of the ink and this bit isn't. Just to make sure. And scrape away a bit more. So I'll keep going with this and I'll come back to you when I've got all the textures on.